M2023, scene one, take two. Dear residents, as we are sharing the new year, I'd like to wish you and your family a happy new year. I hope that you and your family have been keeping well. The COVID pandemic was a challenging period for many of us. I thank you for keeping your trust in the Marsling team and the government that we have come out well adapted and stronger. I'd also like to thank the many volunteers and partners who stepped forward to support our residents in need, assisted with COVID vaccinations, and even delivered care packs to infected households at the height of the pandemic. Overall, I think 2022 was a good year for us, and Marsling did well. As part of the reopening, we work towards making our traditional events and festivals a time for celebration and enjoyment. We join our residents sharing oranges to greet the Lunar New Year. Our 5km Hari Raya lighting decor, starting from Marsling Market to Anur Mosque, was the longest route for decorative lights in Marsling Luthi GRC. For Dipavali, decorative lights lined the path from the Sri Siva Krishna Temple to the Marsling Market. And to commemorate National Day, we had a good face-to-face -face dinner to connect with one another. Thanks to support from caring partners, we were able to launch various community initiatives. From RSVP Singapore and health partners, we launched the Live the Good Life card game to promote good eating and living and adult vaccinations for seniors. There were arts and cultural events such as Pista, Bahasa and Sani that promoted better living among communities. The National Library Board and Marsling Schools also brought Bulan Bahasa to our Marsling community to better appreciate the Malay language. As we move to 2023, here are some of the developments that will make our estate more vibrant, connected and livable. The new Thomson East Coast MRT line which connects Woodlands and the city is now here. It takes just 30 minutes to move from Marsling to the city. By 2025, the TL will cover the entire route to the East Coast and Changi. And for those wishing to get to Malaysia, the Johor Bahru Rapid Transit System or RTS will link Woodlands North MRT Station to Bukit Chaga Station in Johor by the end of 2026. It will serve 10,000 commuters per hour during peak periods covering a 5-minute ride just from Woodlands to Johor. Closer to home, there are some exciting developments that I'd like to keep you posted. COVID-19 had slowed down the construction sector due to SMMs and worker shortages. Works are resuming and we are pleased to keep you updated of the following exciting updates that will improve Marsling Estate. Work on the rejuvenation of Marsling Market and Hawker Centre will be completed in the first half of 2023. To improve the safety of our seniors, Marsling Drive is being redesigned into a silver zone by mid-2023. Do expect more shelters and lingways coming your way to help residents weather the sun and rain. More community spaces for rest and recreation, including a new fitness corner. Lift upgrading is in the pipeline for selected blocks. And residents in zones 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 can expect to receive a refreshing new look with new colour schemes voted by residents. Selected blocks will see refurbishment of internal common areas to enjoy beautiful homes. And we welcome new residents from Marsling Grove, a new BTO development which will bring both young and old with bigger or smaller families to our precinct. Work on our new Marsling Club is scheduled to be completed by 2026 and this will bring more modern facilities, activities and programs for residents. So watch this space. So for those of you who need additional help or specialised care, we have volunteers and partners to continue to support you. And they include the social service centres, food from the heart, free food for all and other healthcare and social groups. Well, some activities include Marsling Community Link, which empowers families by providing care for those who are young and school-going children. In 2022, 504 of our families have benefited from this program. Marsling Cares, which supports underprivileged residents through monthly food distributions. And if you think that you can play a role in helping a fellow Marsling resident, we welcome you to our community of volunteers and partners. We have in our midst vulnerable seniors children and mothers who need special attention and assistance. If all of us were to do our part by contributing what we can, we can help to ensure that no one is left behind. Finally, to all our residents, I thank you for your kind support and for bringing joy to our Marsling community. Now that we can all meet in person, 
let us continue to have fun, learn new skills, and spend time with friends through the many courses and events at our Marsling Community Club and Resident Network Centres. We welcome your feedback, your ideas, and your participation at our community events. Together, let's make Marsling our home.